Well, in Bosnia, childhood was just amazing. You know, we weren't raised to differentiate between people's skin color, ethnicity, religion. The only difference between us kids was, you know, which cartoon we liked, which book we liked to read, which football club we supported. So in the summer of 1993, Croatian soldiers started rounding up all Bosnian Muslim men in my hometown. Some were killed, but predominantly women and children were then expelled to Bosnian government controlled territory. And after weeks of wandering around, exhausted and starved, we made our way to a town called Mostar. And we actually made our way to my auntie Amina's house. And I remember the night that we arrived at her door, like we were exhausted, frightened, we hadn't slept, we hadn't eaten for days. And, but I felt this instant relief, like being there, being there with her. And she was always my favourite auntie. My last night of school was on the 23rd of January 1994. And that night the Croatian army used a crop plane to drop bombs onto Mostar. And through my classroom window I could see our whole street up in flames. And I remember looking out through my classroom window and everyone was screaming and panicking and shouting. And I remember just sitting there, just like I am now, just in shock. Because I knew everyone that I knew was still alive, was still back at the house. Back at the house, my auntie Amina was actually wounded and she was cut across the stomach and unfortunately she died at four o'clock the next morning. The easiest thing for my mom to do in that moment, the more soothing thing to do in that moment would have been to tell us to direct all of our anger and all of our hatred at all Croatians, at all Christians, at all Catholic, to tell us that they're all the same, that they're all responsible. But she realised what impact this could actually have on us. So she sat me, my brother and sister down on the very day that her sister was killed. And she carefully explained that we can't live our life consumed by hate. She explained that there are good and bad people out there and the best way to resist those that were trying to kill us was not to become hateful and angry like them. 